welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. I live in New York City. I'm currently in my Greenwich Village apartment and it's almost moving day. Actually, as this video is going live, I am actively moving into my new apartment. Which apartment did I choose, you may ask? I'm gonna tell you. If you haven't already, make sure to go watch my vlog where I toured a ton of apartments because the one I chose is in that and I had a lot of you guys guess the right one. I was so scared posting that because I was like, what if the one I chose is the one people hate? Like that could happen. I was like, regardless, it's my favorite, so who cares? But I was definitely still scared because you guys are my people. Anyways, a lot of you guys guessed correctly. The apartment I chose was, is, the Chelsea apartment. This apartment is a dream. This is truly my dream apartment. The kitchen is what sold me. I walked in and I was like, this is my Pinterest board. This is my Pinterest board. It's a one bed. It has two bathrooms, which is so exciting. I, that was definitely a big point for me. I was like, wow, this is so nice when I have people stay over. There's another bathroom with a full shower. There's a walk-in closet. The amenities in this building are amazing. I actually didn't get to show you guys the amenities in that vlog, so you'll see it because I'm moving there now, but the amenities are absolutely unreal. Like I'm talking sauna steam room, like I'm pumped, <laughs> but I'm really so excited. I just feel so grateful. Like when I walked into that unit, I immediately knew it was for me. Like I immediately knew and that was like that feeling I was waiting to happen. A lot of you guys also loved the Tribeca apartment and while I loved that, it was actually really dark. The lighting was not good at all and I literally filmed my life for a living. It was facing another building so there was just no good natural light but it was absolutely stunning. Like that closet, that bathroom, the kitchen, it was beautiful but it just wasn't right for me. And I, I just knew, I just knew in my heart and my soul that I'm meant to live on the west side near the water. I am just so thrilled. So I did film an empty apartment tour. The day I got my keys, I was like, I am bringing my vlog camera. We're filming an empty apartment tour. It's nothing fancy. It's just me holding my camera, but I was just so excited and I wanted to just get in there and show it to you guys. So obviously you guys saw a little bit of the tour, but this is like full in depth, everything. So I'm gonna be showing that in this video, but Yes, I'm really, really excited. As you guys are watching this, like I said, I'll be moving there. So moving vlogs are to come. I am really excited for this next chapter. I have absolutely loved living in Greenwich Village. I love this apartment, but I am ready. I'm ready to move. One of the big reasons I'm moving from this apartment is there was not a 24 hour doorman and that was really important to me moving forward. So this next place has 24 hour doorman, a lot more amenities. My current building has no amenities. That was really important to me. And my next hunt, I wanted a rooftop. Like this is gonna have a rooftop with a grill on it. There's a gym, there's a steam room, sauna, um, like a media room. I'm just, I'm really excited to have that. Um, I am someone who does, I would say I take advantage of my amenities when I've had them. Like when I lived in Georgia and I had amenities, I used them. When I lived in my first apartment in Lower East Side, I used that roof like it was my job. Like I love having a roof in outdoor space. So I'm really excited about that. And this building that I'm moving into seems to have a really great community and everyone that works there is so friendly and nice. So, and I just haven't had that experience at this building per se. Um, and I'm just kind of looking to move more west. So. I'm really excited uh, to move and I can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the empty apartment tour. Okay, empty apartment tour begins now. So we're in the hallway. This is the front door right here. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do here. I want some sort of landing area. Feel free to comment down below any suggestions that you guys may have, but maybe some sort of little mirror, maybe the bench I have in my current hallway or maybe storage, not sure yet. Right here, we have a coat closet, um, which is very important living in New York. And I plan to utilize this to the max. Hopefully we'll be able to fit my suitcase in here, my Christmas tree up there, stuff like that. So this is right when you walk in. Then, thank goodness for this, we've got a washer and dryer. And now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> these are way bigger. How do you open this? This is even bigger than my current washer. Like, I think I can do bigger loads perhaps, which is exciting. Um, and some storage up there. I'm gonna need to figure out a way or where to put my products, like detergent and stuff, because in my current apartment, on the side, I have all this great shelving, which I know is so rare. I saw someone do this where they put like bins here if there's dead space, but I don't know. 
I might be able to do that. We shall see. Like if I stick things up here, as long as they don't hit that, I think that could be good for storage. So if you guys have advice on that, always leave it down below. I just can't wait to show you guys the rest of the apartment. <laughs> then to the left right here, we have the guest bathroom, the powder room, if you will. However, this guest bathroom does have a shower. So we have the sink here, two drawers with storage, which is huge. Like, honestly, this will be probably more storage for me. And then I love that even this bathroom has a medicine cabinet, which is so great. Just more and more and more storage. Always happy about that. I don't know why, but I love the toilets in this apartment. Like, look how chic this is. Like, it's the little things, you know? We have a towel rack, and then here is the second shower. It's genuinely so stunning. Like, I, I can't believe I have two showers. Like, that's crazy. More for me to clean, but that's okay. Then you walk through the hallway, and you land at the kitchen, which is arguably my favorite part of the whole apartment. This is what truly drew me to it. And as soon as I walked in, I, I just knew this place was the one. Like, even the realtor that was representing the unit was like, Pfft you're glowing in here and i said i know i can feel it this and so many of you guys on my vlog where i toured apartments were like i like the trebekah one or i like the fight eye one but i know the chelsea one is your favorite the chelsea one is so you and i mean i can't disagree like this is just so me the kitchen the warm tones the fluting of this wood like <laughs> i can't believe it so let me just give you a little kitchen tour because it's pretty crazy um it's not that crazy, but I'm excited about it. So I love that the refrigerator is kind of camouflaged. I mean, obviously, you know, this is where the refrigerator is, but it looks very, very, very nice. This, the second time I came in toward the apartment again, I realized what this is. This is a pull-out larder system situation. I guess it's not a larder. Only these two pull out, actually. But this is so perfect. I feel like I'll put my spices here, question mark, or things that I use often canned goods, stuff like that. Like this is so, this kitchen has so much more storage than my last apartment did. Like it's probably double if not more. Also something I just figured out, trash can, hidden trash can. I do currently have a simple human trash can that honestly, maybe I will get rid of because I was planning on putting it here, but that's kind of in the way of this walkway. I don't know. We'll have to think about it, but this is so nice. I currently recycle two though, so that's the only thing. Like, I wanted to keep recycling, so maybe I can do a separate recycling bin somewhere. And then here we have ooh, the freezer, of course, and God bless an ice maker. I am so grateful for that. It's hard to come by in New York. Turning here really quick. This is the island. It's so beautiful. I just can't wait to cook and look out in my... Oh, this is the microwave. Look at this, you guys. I'm sorry, what? And then I think it closes too, yeah. Like this is the fanciest microwave I've ever had. It's so crazy. And then we just have tons of drawers. I assume this will be my utensils drawer. Not that you guys really care, but I'm just thinking about it out loud here. This also is so crazy. I have a wine fridge. It's a Uline. I know these are nice fridge. I do not drink a lot of wine though. So I wanted to see how low this will go. Like. Okay, I'm not gonna put it all the way low right now because I'm not living here for a few weeks, but I wanna put like my LaCroix, my sparkling waters, my poppies in here and maybe a couple bottles of wine, but I wanted to make sure it got cold enough to be able to do so. Cause some wine fridges, like they don't get super cold. Um, hello. <laughs> the beautiful sink. It's a nice deep, deep sink. My current sink, sink is a little bit shallower, I realized. So when like washing dishes and stuff, it splashes everywhere. So I'm feeling like that might not happen here. I believe there is a um, garbage disposal, which is really exciting. Oh, look, there's, you're kidding. There's an SU, USB and a USB-C port. That's crazy. Got a ton more storage up here as well. Um, I wanna get some more plates. Like I only have four bowls, four plates. So I think it'd be really fun to get some beautiful plates because I also, like I said, or I didn't say yet, but I plan to get a big dining table so I can like have more people over for meals. So I feel like this is great because I'll have more storage for plates. Like there's just even more here. Oh, <laughs> what's that up there? <gasps> there is a Pedialyte up there. <laughs> Mad respect to whoever used to live here. Um, great counter space. One of these counters will hold my Keurig. I have a Keurig, a teapot, and a toaster. 
So this will definitely fit all of that. But then it's also amazing because I can do all of my cooking and preparing here. Like there's so much room for activity. I probably won't keep anything on this per se, like appliance wise, but you know the drill. Um, we have more storage under the sink. I'll put my cleaning supplies there, of course. And then this is a dishwasher, which just got me. I was very, very, very excited to see this. Oh no, someone left their chopsticks. Wait, these are so bougie. They left them when they did their last wash. <laughs> well, I guess I have some chopsticks now. Obsessed, I love it. It's so easy on the eyes, like <laughs> very excited. More storage here for pans and such. We've got a Gagano oven. More storage here and here. And then I plan to put bar stools. Sadly, I can't take the bar stools that I have at my current apartment because they are, um, what is it? They are counter height. No, they're bar height and this is counter height, I believe. So yes, my current ones are a lot taller so they would not fit under here. And I don't think they would go with this vibe anyways. For this apartment, since there's like some darker accents, I really wanna bring in a little bit more of a moody moment. I'm still gonna use my white couch and stuff. Maybe I'll get a darker coffee table, stuff like that, just to kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, but I'm thinking just to do two bar stools here, keep it nice and simple. I could probably put a third, but I feel like two, there's never gonna be more than two people sitting at this bar. I don't know, I don't know. And I'm really happy that there's outlets because I feel like I'll work at my computer a lot here. The living room, she's a big one. Um, I am so excited about this. So my plan here is to put couch, coffee table, TV on this side. Huge full length mirror here because that just feels necessary because I feel like the natural light coming in will look good when I'm like taking mirror pics, you know, I need that. And then on this side of the living room, I wanna do like a big wooden uh, dining table, chairs, and then like, I wanna make this kind of like my office too. I mean, like I always end up just working here or here. I'm not trying to have a full desk, but I'm thinking to hide this. I'm gonna do some sort of storage ladder. I've been working with Sierra Belanger Interior Design. She's the best. And she's already come here with me to take measurements and stuff. I'm thinking, cause I just got a printer, like a full printer to do one of those storage ladders. And I put the printer on the bottom. There's an outlet right there, which is perfect. And I can have like office, like papers, pens, stuff like this here, but it'll still look nice because it'll be kind of like one of those storage ladder situations. And then for even more storage, this is like a later idea, but I'm kind of thinking I want to do it. We're going to do a credenza or they call it like a buffet table. It's not a table. It's like a, think of it as like a media console, but it's not a media console. It's just like a lower big cabinet. Um, so I can decorate it here. I can put stuff on the cabinet and just more storage. Like I'm always just needing more storage, more drawers. So I really want to optimize the space. And I think that'll look nice too. Like I can put artwork above it or, or you know, a mirror or a plant on the thing, like really decorate that. So I'm really excited about this whole space. There's so much to be done. Um, I'm trying to decide my big gray Malin artwork that I have right now that says off the grid. Obviously, it makes sense to go on a big wall like this, but I don't know. I don't really know where that's going to go, honestly. I kind of feel like it doesn't go with this apartment, but it's so special to me. Anyways, here we go into the bedroom. Oh. So I think I'm going to upgrade you guys and get a king bed. My current bedroom at my current apartment is actually a little bit bigger, but this can still fit a um, king bed regardless. I think it's just time I upgrade because I wanna get a new bed that has storage in it. I'm also thinking of getting a TV in here, which is so crazy, but there's just something to be said about lying in bed watching TV, so. Big wall here, this, this, this. Then we have the walk-in closet, which I'm so excited about. A lot of you were like, what are you gonna do without your Hannah Montana closet? This is my new Hannah Montana closet. The only thing I'll be missing is my vanity, but my bathroom is so nice that you'll see in a second that I'm gonna wanna get ready in there. So um, I really plan to optimize this closet to the max. I'm either thinking of, I think I'm gonna add racks up top and then have storage bins and stuff underneath with my shoes down here. Whole another rack right here. We're really gonna use up the space as much as we can. I could even put something at this wall or I was thinking of putting a mirror here if I wanna try things on. There's a nice little light in here as well. And just a beautiful door. Like, I'm just so excited to have all my clothes in one place. I'll also bring, I'm bringing my dresser from my current apartment 
and that's gonna go right here. There's like so many doors right here, I just realized. Then to the bathroom, my new Vogue Beauty Secrets Get Ready With Me bathroom. I'm just so excited. Like, this is the nicest bathroom I've ever had. We have a solo bathtub, just a solo bathtub over here. I am not taking one bath in my current apartment, but this place, I can get down taking baths. Like, this is gonna be a whole luxurious moment for me. I'm very excited, like, candles lit, I can see it now. Again, just a stunning toilet, like, <laughs> it's the little things, we have this little panel to have some privacy here. I believe these are floor warmers. I don't think they're on right now. Or maybe they are, it does feel warm, I'm not sure. But we have floor warmers there, which is just crazy. Like in the winter, that'll be so nice. The sink, I love it. Double sinks, which is so fun because obviously Ryan's here a lot or I have guests stay with me a lot. So we can like both get ready very comfortably here. I got my makeup, like <laughs> I'm so excited. And I also love it because we've got double medicine cabinets here. So I can put all my products. I just realized this is like a lot of space right here. I'll have to like, I don't know. I don't know about that, but there's outlets everywhere, which is good for all the hot tools, toothbrushes, you can imagine. Drawers down here. Eep. And then we have the sexy shower. <laughs> this is so beautiful to me. I guess my, I was wondering where my towel would go and now I'm realizing I think this is meant for a towel. This is literally a hotel shower and that is precisely my dream. Um, The echo in here is so funny. Like my products here, I'm probably gonna get to need, I'm gonna need to get like one of those standing ones too to put more because I use a lot of shower products, but I'm excited. I have an extra little nozzle too if I don't wanna get my hair wet, like that's exciting. So we have this beautiful shower. I've never had a bathroom that has like a shower and bath separately. It's always been like, you know, the bath and the shower all together. So. Very thrilled about that. And I do believe that that is the whole apartment. I am seriously so excited. Like I'm just a kid in a candy store right now. So that was my empty apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for many, many, many more moving vlogs, but I just had to get the ball rolling and show you guys this. I am so grateful to you guys. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to live in beautiful places like this one I'm moving to. So I am very grateful from the bottom, bottom of my heart. Like you guys already know that. Like I, you guys are my people and I'll be taking you guys along every step of the way so we can enjoy it together. And it's, it's our apartment. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day and stay tuned and subscribe down below for more content. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.